Day two of going to pull these crab pots that we set out in the deeper water, guys. We'll go out here and see if we've got any more than we had than yesterday. Keepers, that is. We're keeping up with the keepers. What did we end up with yesterday, Seth? Ten. I thought it was eleven. Check back with the last video. It was ten. I ain't sure about that. But we're going to go pull them again. deeper see if we can find some crab when we pulled them yesterday we still had some bait left so we just put them back out right we are in Why South Carolina we got our yellow recreational crab pot buoy we'll be pulling them up today and stacking them on the boat we're done Yeah, our boat's already muddy from that mink in and out of it all the time. See, the crab aren't eating as much. After two days, we've still got plenty of bait. Plenty of bait. See the fish and stuff we were using. Just any of the bycatch or small fish that we catch. Maybe kind of close. That one's got me. He's got you. Yeah, he's got me pretty good. And this glove is not like the big thick glove we use for crabbing. I can feel him pretty good through there. He may have even pinched a hole in us. Had y'all butt crying, didn't he? No. Stop? Yes, he did. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He had her butt crying. No. I could see it in her face. Look at it. No. He got me pretty good, though. No oh, blood. Oh, Lord. This, this glove helped. Cause wow. It would have been different if it would have been without the glove. I probably would have been crying. I would have been screaming, probably. I, I'm glad you showed us those marks because I, I thought all he really had was a glove and she was making it up. But he didn't have. <laughs> no, he had me pretty good. But I mean, it, that's nothing unbearable. Let's go pull the second one. On skin contact would have been a little worse for sure. Number two. Ooh, oh, this is heavy. Got a bite? Got to be a lot. I hope so. It could be just a heavy trap. <laughs> <laughs> that rebar on the bottom does make them heavy, but I see some crabbies in there. Oh, oh I definitely wow. see some, some big peepers. Bites. Now it gets serious. So I was joking around, but I am thankful to see this. Yeah. That's What's nice. that? I mean, one, two, three, four. 
there's at least five big male keys in this box. Woohoo! Heavy patties. Let's see if we can shake them out in the boat. Give you a better look at some of these guys. Pretty. Love that pretty blue on them. Look at those purple tips. Wow. Got check this one here out. Check this boy right here out. That is a big one. There's your gauge. This is a five inch gauge, guys. And when you measure a crab, you measure from this tip to this tip. Six and a half inches. And this one's a little one. Oh, it's a little female as well. You see the little triangular apron. Another little guy. Ooh. They are pretty. Yeah. We have dark muddy waters here Look in here. South Carolina, all of our algae content. Look at this gauge on this one, guy. Another six and a half to six and five eighths, maybe. And yeah, this one. It's a big guy. Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's a big one too. Point, point. That could be a seven inch. He's close. Yeah, that's really big for He's our close. area. And I just and chipped chip. this yeah, point exactly. a little, but anyhow, five inches right there on my inside diameter of my gauge. And we're looking at a close to seven inch right there. Woohoo! So, it's looking a little better then. Look here. What's I think we like? enjoy it so much because we enjoy eating them a lot, right? Woohoo! Hopefully we double that. Wouldn't that be awesome? You remember, just a video or two ago back over there in the Marsh Creeks, we had terrible luck. I told you guys we would come out to deeper water, and that's what we did. It's paying off. You guys wanted to see it. We acknowledge what you guys want to see. We are reading the comments we're answering comments constantly trying to help each and every person that we can with things about Buford or just questions that they have and really appreciate you guys and that's why we keep making the videos here we go we're going to a crab pot number three here Let's see how many we have already one two three four five six seven so that was five big keepers in that last one. So I believe yesterday that second pot did the best. Yep, I believe that is so, correct as well. No, I think the last one actually I, did. I know where that spot is. I hope I might be saying that about oh he's crabbing my spot. Now. quantity went down and our keepers went down also we're looking at two keepers yeah, in I this pot so. maybe a little bit more active group of crabs here going to come out a little female red lines on her triangular apron there. She is an immature female that, from what I understand, those red lines mean she's about to get ready to shed and mate. There's a nice keeper. Another six and a half to seven inches. Nice one. Pretty nice. Keeper. Small, but keeper. Just a hair under. Hair under here for us. We need them to be five inches. Yeah, in South Carolina, they have to be five. Here, I'll get it for you. Oh, there's two. We've got Trying them. to get up underneath their life jackets. We've got them all crawling around <laughs> the boat. They don't step leg. 
Let go of her leg. Got him on my leg. Got him on the life jacket. Now on my shoe. All right. Look here. I'm gonna let him relax. Let him go. Too nah, too little. Here you go. Blue the crab. Crab. Here, he's gonna be too little. Okay. Let's see. check him. Yep. He's too little. Ah. Bye, Krabby. Right. Grow up some more. That's up. Right. So one keeper out of that. Yep. That seagull. I think I'm only at eight in here, so. One, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So, yeah, it was two. Okay. Chasing all those little crabs around in the boat. Guys, we got caught right there was the two keepers in there. That's a one. No, I think it was two now. She's going back on me on that. <laughs> well, I had, you know what I'm this is what I, I had know, to count them. I had to count them. I kind of deal with it. All uh, the action in the boat, I do get confused. She's still my crabbing buddy, the <laughs> best crabbing buddy in the world. About to check our fourth and final pot with our recreational South Carolina fishing license. We're allowed two pots each, so we can have four pots that we put out here. Wow. This thing is heavy. It's got the boat rock. I see a big one there. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, buddy. Oliver's using the water to help them get these crabs down into the bottom. It's actually the top of our trap through that funnel so he can dump them out of the opening door. See what she's talking about? See the funnel right here? See that shaped wire? And there's an opening right there in the center. And you get them down into the top part, which is actually upside down right now. Oh, I see several keepers in there too. And a little female. These females are nice to see. It's good for the crab population for the future. Out of there, so. No, he's hanging he's on. He's gonna warm me out. <laughs> they do like to hang on. I can't say I blame them. mud in this area. That's why our boat stays nasty a I lot, think guys. That's why the crabs love our area so much too. Because they you know the blue crabs bury themselves down in the mud during cold months. Ooh, don't let the big boy out. Come on. He's holding on over here too. You guys ever had this trouble? <laughs> I mean, our crab. look at this guy. Fighting with the crabs. I don't want to hurt him, but I will. He's a keeper. Yeah, we're He's gonna we're to gonna eat him with. anyway. Look at it, and even his claws stuck here, holding on. <laughs> wow. Still plenty of bait. Plenty of crab in there. They really didn't eat the bait a whole lot. I don't know if they're just not eating as much because it's cold. Take them off. This one's too little. Let's see. It's a little girl. This one's a big boy. Both of them's big boys. Look. It's got a little claw on that one though.
You back out? No, I'm kind of waiting on you. With your glove? No, just so you can show Let's them. Let's get away from that dock a little bit, Steph. Here's a big boy that was hiding behind me. That one is a nice one. Wow. So you we're going to put three, four. Five. Wow, that'd be cute. Six. Is there one back there? Did I see one somewhere? I know there's one hiding up here by the life jackets. This one's too little. Different little girl. You can see her apron is not red like the one I showed you earlier. It's more white. It's got a little pinkish in it, so maybe she's getting ready. All right, little girl, go have some crappy babies. One. Two. Try to grab several. Woo. See if I can grab them without them grabbing me. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at there. Three, four, five. Nine. Okay. That's good. 11, 12, 13. 13. 14, 15. 15. Woohoo! Big mature female. So you see the other female has, has the triangular apron. This one's got the rounded apron. So she has been bred before and had babies. But from our um, knowledge of them, even though she is a keeper because she's a big girl, we're going to put her back because we realize that they can actually store sperm from the male and produce more than one, even though they only breed one. So we're gonna put her back and let her continue life here in the river. There you go, girl. She was skiing. <laughs> Solemn for a minute. Looked like a little bit of skiing to me. Just love nature, guys. Love bringing you guys along, and really appreciate you coming along with us today.